Hey friends, Wanda here at uh, GNRB Farm Homestead at Sense By Me Bath and Body Care. Hey, it's been a yucky day. Uh, it's been raining all day. Uh, we're in the middle of the afternoon and um, I had some things I needed to do. First, before I could come on and make my video, um, we've been making cookies all morning. We made chocolate chip, you know, it's the... Um, 15th of December and um, Christmas is 10 days away um, so I hope you guys are getting ready because it's coming um, but we at least got our cookies made and um, I can get them bagged and ready to give to people and I'm having a cup of tea so I decided to take 15 minutes so I can come on and I know you've been waiting because we did part one of our ghost pipe, Indian pipe foraging tincture that I did back in October. And um, if you haven't seen that, um, I highly encourage you to watch that um, entire video. And I'll put a link up there for it so you can watch it because now... It is time for us to strain our ghost pipe tincture so we can get using it if we need to. Um, just to briefly recap, um, I went foraging out on some private land back in early fall and I came across this, um, this perennial plant and I didn't know what it was and so I did some research when I came home. I took a lot of pictures and um, so I figured it what it was and that it was a very very good medicinal plant to be used for severe pain so I um, did the video so I highly recommend you watch that video so you know everything that goes on and um, so you know what good stuff this is really good for. Um, so I'm just going to move my cookies out of the way and slide my coffee over. Because we're going to be straining out. It's been two months since um, October. Because um, today's the 15th and that's what I have on my jar. 12-15. So I want to make sure that I get it strained and wow look at that color how purpley almost black purpley it looks um which i had said way back then that it was going to turn purple and um so it's really pulled the um medicinal um value out of that ghost pipe indian pipe and the botanical name is monotropia unifolia Euliforlia. I hope I said, I probably butchered it, but it's okay. But you get the meaning, right? So, uh, but today, so we're going to go ahead and strain so we can get it in our bottle. I'm going to put it in this nice little bottle with the cork. So that will make it easier for me to pour into the little dropper bottles that we need to put them in. So I've got my bowl, my pitcher. And um, I've got my strainer, and it shouldn't take long. I should be able to just go ahead and, um, you know, um, pour this and be able to put it. And I got my little funnel. I, you got to have a funnel. So we're going to put on our gloves. And um, now the ghost pipe, it's, you know, it's for, it's for severe pain. Okay, and um, I'll just briefly go over it and just, you know, let you know that that's, that's why we made it. Because it's, it is for severe pain. Um, so, if you're looking for a tincture for severe pain that you can use, and by all means, check with your doctor prior to using any type of... Um, herbal supplements or um, tinctures, because um, I'm not a doctor, but 
I will go out and forage and look for natural ways to help heal our own cells besides going to the pharmacy any, any day. Um, so you want to check with your doctor and get your advice, you know, make sure, you know, you're, you know, with your medicines or, or anything like that, that you're on. Always check with, you know, them. You're your best judgment. Um, use your own judgment and do your own research as far as what you put in your body. But, um, so we're going to be able to, uh, put this right in this cute little medicine bottle that I have. Um, and then, um, we'll be able to, uh, make little dropper bottles of, um, this tincture, um, you know, for my family and friends. And, you know, if someone's, you know, really in need that's got severe pain, um, you know, they can use, they can have, you know, be able to get this, um, and use it. So, um, so just leave me a message if this is something you're looking for. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get with you, um, on that. But, um, yeah, Facebook and, uh, Instagram, they're a little funny about posting that kind of stuff, but I do have my website um, and that I can put this on and, um, when, um, I'll make up, a, you know, some bottles, um, of this, uh, of this tincture. So that'll be the only place you'll be able to find it unless you're right here locally in our shop and in our store. So, um, you'll just have to message me. Um, but I will leave the link to our, our, our website and, um, you can, you can get it, you know, get or message me privately and we'll get together but so right now we want to go ahead and finally after two months and you know what you're not going to be able to find this until next season um so it takes you know it takes that that long time so it's nice to have a nice little jar of severe pain make your label i'll be taking that label Putting it, I'll be making a label I'm putting on here, um, being it's strained today exactly when I needed to have it done. So, I got my little bowl to put my uh, stuff in once it's done. So, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to push, put that right there so you can see. And we're going to go ahead and open this. And I'm so excited to get it finally done. And um, I'm going to open that very slow. This is a very, very uh, potent tincture. I, I can't stress it enough because it's for severe pain. So you will not take this in dropper fulls right off the get-go. You will take it in drops, one to two, three at the most, one to two to start and see how your body reacts to, and you won't drive. And it's not for pregnant women or breastfeeding women. And it's not for children. So, under the age of 18, of course. And um, you need to check with your doctor if you're going to be giving that to, you know, an older child. So, but, um, wow. Woo, it is, man. <laughs> Woo, is it pungent? Yeah, it's strong, so... I guess that's why they call it ghost pipe and Indian pipe. You know, it worked for them way back in the native time. So I'm sure that's why they used it very, very sparingly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to slowly pour this so I don't spill any. Look how purpley it is. And once I get down to where I can get the rest of it out, I will. Because we certainly don't want to, um, you know, waste any. Bands we can't get anymore for a good while. Is that strong and check that ghost pipe out man it was white when I put it in there I will try to put a, a 
um, a before when we first put it in there and when we first started the infusion to now. And um, you wouldn't believe how black that these uh, um, ghost pipes are. Okay, I think that's good. Wow. And we have, mm, looks like uh, three quarters of a cup. <laughs> that's what we got out of, um, out of this. Three quarters of a cup. But I do want to um, just bring this over so you can see how black that is. Oh my gosh, look how black they are compared. I'm gonna put a picture of it, what it was uh, in the two months ago. They were pure white. Isn't that something? And it is strong because I can smell. Oh my, is that strong. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this over top of this. Just wanna make sure. We don't want, you might have a few pieces of sediment, but it won't be much in there. I'm gonna put that over my, there's a bowl. I have that setting there. So now we have, like I said, three quarters of a cup, almost a cup full of um, tincture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my bottle that's already been cleaned and sterilized. I'll take that cork off. I'm going to put this in there. And we are going to go ahead and pour this beautiful, beautiful tincture. Wow, it's like a bluish purple. Bluish, it's a bluish color, really. More bluish than it is purple. We're just gonna slowly wait for it to filter. So now you know that a pint jar, you know, a half pint, I'm sorry, half pint jar will get you about three quarters of a cup of this tincture when you're done. Okay. Just want to wipe that off so it doesn't dribble. Isn't that awesome? Okay, we'll just transfer our Set that to the side. And there we have, and we're gonna put our cork on our bottle, like so. And I will be making a label. And of course, the shelf life is whenever, because it's made with vodka, so the shelf life is forever. Um, so, uh, we will put our ingredients and what it was and where I'll transfer some of that information from this label to this label. So I know, um, I mean, I do know where I went when I foraged it, but, but now we have our, um, our ghost pipe, Indian pipe tincture for severe pain so let me know your thoughts 
and it's like a purple, like a bluish, blackish, purpley color. It's hard to explain because it's hard to, I don't know, but you could probably, uh, yeah, it's, it's a different color, um, but it's beautiful. And um, we'll be using this once we get it labeled. We will have it in the apothecary for uh, severe pain and um, very low dosage um, to start. So um, let us know your thoughts on our, uh, our ghost uh, Indian pipe tincture. And um, we'd love to hear from you what you think. And um, have you ever used a ghost pipe? Um, have you ever foraged for ghost pipe and do you use it? And, um, and what, what do you use it for, for you personally? Um, what kind of pain? That's, I think that would be great for us all to know, um, to help each other learn. So if you like our video, please give it a thumbs up and help others learn by liking and sharing our video to others. And um, we always are always um, looking for better ways to um, heal our bodies uh, through natural plants and herbs that, uh, that are out in nature. So thank you for watching today. And um, I know it took a while, took two months to get our tincture ready, but we got it ready. And um, we uh, hope to... Uh, be back on soon. We got 10 days before Christmas, so we may not make it back on here before Christmas. So you have a blessed Christmas and um, stay healthy. Enjoy your family and um, praise the Lord for he's the reason for all that we have and, and um, we give him the glory. So be blessed, and we'll see you real soon next time on the homestead. See ya.